Hello guys and welcome back to another vlog. A few exciting things happening this week and I have quite a lot of parcels that have arrived because I've been doing a little bit of online shopping over the last few days. So one thing that I definitely need to open today is a net porter order because I need to send some stuff back because there's duplicates in there like different sizes. Um, so I'm going to open that with you now and show you what I got and then tomorrow is a very exciting day I'm heading off to Windsor to my hairdressers I'll leave all their information down below they're incredible I've been going for years and years and years but I'm actually going to get some extensions put in purely for thickness you can maybe I feel like you can really tell my hair like how not it's not thin what is it lots of hair but fine hair but I feel like when it's in a ponytail you can really tell like how than it can be so I'll talk to you more about that tomorrow but yeah I'm just gonna go in and get extensions put in which is super exciting so I'll take you with me but for the minute let's open up I'm very cautious of how I swing around in circles when I you know when someone's on the phone and they walk around and talk that's what I do when I vlog <laughs> and I know it's annoying because I get annoyed editing it back so I'm gonna try and stop that but for the minute I'm going to go through this uh, net porter parcel with you so let's do that so got my box um net porter actually had a sale on i think it's still running you know i know a lot of the stuff i'm going to show you is definitely still on there so that's really handy so i picked a few things up in the sale hopefully they are all nice um so the first thing i got i know it's definitely not the right time of year but i saw this gani knit probably like three months ago I want to say and I loved it so much um but it was full price at the time so I just didn't bother getting it and then I thought it was in the sale okay I'm gonna get my receipt up so I got this for 123 pounds it's 40 percent off and it was 205 so I know it's not the right time to be buying this but I just thought it was gorgeous and it was in the sale and it's in my size so I just thought okay it's meant to be so this is what it looks like it's just a grey woolen jumper it's got frill details around the collar and then also on the shoulders it's got long sleeves and it's got this kind of like peplum detail at the bottom but what I absolutely fell in love with was the back of it it's an open back it does that with a little gold button you can see there and then again a button at the bottom and I just thought that was so cute such a cute little twist on a knitted piece obviously it's a jumper but it means it's more kind of wearable when it gets a little bit warmer it doesn't have to be just for when it's actually cold so yeah I really really love that okay here is the Ganny knit I love this so much um obviously not for this time of year and i need to find the right jeans because it sits slightly awkward um but yeah i love this i really 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 love this i think it's gorgeous i love how it like holds its shape i love the shoulder pads i love the little neck detail if you find things scratchy you're going to find the scratchy because it's woolen mm, it's, it's softer than what you'd normally find scratchy but i feel like if you do get really fussed by scratchy things it might not be for you um and you can't really put a thingy under it because it's open back um but yeah I love this so much let me try and show you the back okay so here is the back it's very open isn't it but I kind of I do like that and then I haven't got a bra on but I feel like it's fine because it's a knit um even though it's not tight or you could just do like a little sticky bra for you guys are getting good look at that but this is beautiful I love it so much I'm definitely keeping this one so these are the wrong jeans because they're a very awkward length unless you're standing on your tiptoes but you get the idea of the whole look i think it's really cute if these were straight leg and not as long i could put on like some vasier trainers that'd be a really nice kind of like colder summer day or warmer autumn day so yeah i love that okay, then i saw these jeans i don't know what size to get so this is a thing i have two of um but i thought they were just beautiful it's size 23 and i also got size 24 is that right Yes, 23 and a 24. Um, I'm still not 100% clued up on Reformation sizing. I just kind of guess. But this is what they look like. They are cream, um, high waist, just like normal kind of straight leg style. But they have this different colour of denim along the top. And then also on either side of the leg and also on the back. And I just thought it was a really cute little detail. I'm not sure if I'm going to like them. I need to try them on, obviously, and style them up and like see if it's actually for me. Like these were not in the sale but they were £220. I just thought they were quite a cool take on a simple cream jean. I think they'd look really nice with basic uh, knitted tops and then also little blouses and they do have this crease down the front if you could see yeah there and also on the back so they're leaning into that little bit more smart kind of style so I think they'd work really well with like tan loafers um, or white loafers or even heels. Okay here are the jeans this is a smaller size that I'm wearing and I think they're a bit too small like they're pulling 
here. Also, the crease disappears on my thighs. So these ones are too small and then the other ones just look terrible because they're a little bit too big. But I do really like these. I've just popped them with a little Reese knitted top. This is what they look like on the side. I think they're really cute. But I just don't know if they just look a bit funny. I think they'd be nice with heels, like beige barely there or nude barely there heels and like a blazer. So it'd be a cute outfit. But do they look too small because of that crease? I can't figure it out. Maybe I need to put it on with like a blazer and see. Okay, I've just popped on a blazer and some loafers and I do think they look really cute, but I still think they're too small. And I don't know if this is a pair of jeans that I would let sit in my wardrobe, you know. I wear them maybe a couple times a month. But then would I wear them as much as I want to be wearing them for a 200 pound pair of jeans? Oh, I'm so stuck. I think they are really nice, but are they just too small? Let me know what you guys think. I put them on with these loafers, which I think that was quite nice. Okay, next, I'm just getting the price. Um, I haven't got any holidays booked, unfortunately. But I'm hoping to go to Mykonos in July with my sister and her boyfriend and Johnny. Um, so she can get into Mykonos from Dubai. So it kind of depends if we can. But hopefully we'll be able to go and meet her. So I picked up a swimsuit. I do have my own swim line out with Marble Swimwear. And that will be everything that I'm packing in terms of bikinis. And also I have a white swimming costume that I did last year with them. So I can't wait, hopefully, to be wearing them in the beach and at the pool. But I've never owned a Hansa G swimsuit before. And I've only ever heard positive feedback. I've literally never heard somebody say they don't like Hansa G. And it's quite a weird concept because they are a one-size-fits-all um company so everything they do is one size which is quite cool um but yeah it's this lovely sort of like crinkle material it's very soft to touch it's very 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 stretchy um, and i just thought to start off with get a really plain basic black suit so this is what it looks like it also has a scoop back if you can see and it's quite a modest piece it's like not low cut in the size or in the bum or anything it's just a really nice simple black timeless swimsuit and I feel like you can't really go wrong with that price was £130 um and yeah I'm, I've got high hopes we'll see okay I have my pants on with this one so that's why it's like kind of out here but I really am impressed with this little swimsuit it's lovely it's just very very basic very timeless very simple but I think it's very flattering I like how the straps are a little bit thicker you can kind of cover up that bit there if you want to and the back is very open if you can see the bum is very covered as well which is nice I'm just not sure if this back suits me because I definitely have a wider back just trying to find somewhere to prop you up um yeah I really like it but I'm always kind of cautious about my back because I do have quite a wide back <laughs> and it really annoys me and I feel like this style just completely emphasizes that my back is that wide because I feel like these straps it's my ribs that are wide um, and my shoulders but I feel like these straps should sit kind of like here but they sit so wide because of my ribs and my shoulders so yeah I'm not sure if it's flattering on the back but then I don't really find any of my swim stuff flattering from the back so I just tend not to like you know, think about it. <laughs> okay, so this is from my newest collection with Marble. I think that looks so nice. It's just a really classic little outfit. I really like it. I think I'm gonna keep this, especially because it's one size fits all. So technically it should fit me for the rest of my life. <laughs> um, and you can't really go wrong with it. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. I'm gonna keep it. Next, I just picked up a basic bodysuit. This is from the brand Commando, I'm pretty sure. No, it's not, that's a lie. It's from a place called Chantel. This was 38 pounds. It's literally just the most basic bodysuit ever. It's a jersey material. Soft stretch jersey bodysuit. It's very, very soft. It's like underwear, really. Um, and it just looks like this. Very similar to what the swimming costume looked like, actually. And then here is this little bodysuit. Um, it's lovely. It's definitely like an, un you know, you get like seamless underwear. It's that kind of feel. Um, it's, it kind of finishes low leg as well. So very comfortable, but not practical if you're doing like a really skinny jean. However, it's very, very, very thin material. So I feel like you probably won't even see it. It's just kind of seamless. Um, and the bum is a full bum. You definitely could wedgie that again if you're going to wear it with tight um, jeans and then if you can see that the straps are also adjustable so that's really handy so yeah this is a good one it also comes in nude if you wanted to get that for like an underslip and the only other things that I picked up were um, some sunglasses 
and also a little ASOP lip balm. This is an SPF 30 lip balm. I love a lip balm, so I just thought this would be handy to chuck in my bags. I've got so many, but actually I don't think I have any with SPF. And then the last thing I got was a pair of Loewe sunglasses. I saw these and thought they were really cute. However, I'm not sure if they will suit me. This is what they look like. They also did these in like a tortoise shell. Um, but I thought to go for black so that I could wear them more in winter as well. Okay, this is them on. I think they're really chic and lovely, but I think from the front, probably a bit too big, right? Also, these are absolutely massive. Like the width, that width there. Like, they're not, that's not touching my head. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, these need to go back, unfortunately, but they are so cute. Could I get that tightened? I don't know. Really nice. I'll have a play around when my hair is a bit more styled. Um, tomorrow after the hairdresser is not super soft and silky like it is now. So that's the last thing I picked up. Nothing hugely exciting. But I thought I'd run through it with you quickly before I start processing my returns. So it's been a while since I did my skincare with you. So I'm trying to get into the habit of once my day of filming is done to take off my makeup rather than take it off right before bed. So that's what I'm gonna do. First thing first, a makeup wipe, but only for my mascara. Nowhere else it will touch. <laughs> So I just take my mascara off of this because I wear contacts. I feel like if I use micellar water, it goes into my contacts and it's just really uncomfortable. First thing I do is get my Coldly Cleansing Oil. Get a little muslin. So I take two pumps of this onto dry skin. Warm up on my hands and then just go over my face. It smells incredible. It smells like... um. Oh my god, marzipan or like almond, it's so nice. Then I just take a wet muslin cloth and take that off. The second cleanse, I use one of three normally. One's coldly, one is medical, so from Zoe Skin. The coldly one is the foam. The other one is this. So if I'm having like quite a bad skin day. But if my skin's looking okay and quite calm, this is a new favorite. I used to, I'm really confused, you know. Um, it's from Aurelia. I love Aurelia. I've been using them for years. They have such beautiful products. But this is the one that I used to use. It's the Miracle Cleanser. And I'm just wondering if they've switched up their packaging because this is also the Miracle Cleanser. But it's in a tube. And I'm just a little bit confused. Like the consistency is a little bit different. But this one you also apply to dry skin. So I just take a little bit like this. It says Creamy Balancing Cleanser with Protida, Boabab and Kaijella Africana. So that is different from the other one. And then again, damp muslin cloth. Okay, then I go in with the Vinyl Perfect Concentrating Brightening Glycolic Essence from Coldly on a cotton pad. I do have reusable ones, but they're literally in the wash right now. So that's why I'm using this. And wipe that one on my face. Okay, then I go in with a serum again. It just depends what I feel like my skin needs. See how I have all these like residues? Like these are not spots, they're just kind of like scars. This is what I normally would use and it really, really, really helps that. Um, however, I've been using this new one recently, which is the Vinyl Source Hydra Serum. I'm working with Cordley over on Instagram with this, but not on here. Um, and it's lovely, it's just super hydrating on the skin, really lightweight. And I feel like my skin has been a little bit dry recently from the change in weather. Then I like to take a face mist. This is the Great Water Soothes, Moisturizes, Antioxidant, sensitive, and it's for sensitive skin, again from Coldly. And I just put that over. Can somebody tell me why this bit of hair, it just doesn't grow, ever. Like it's literally been that length forever and it's so annoying <laughs> I already have a bobby pin in there sticking up some of them um, anyway eye cream so there's a few that I like Coldly and Bare Minerals and um, Aurelia but I'm going to go for this one this is what it looks like it's just really lightweight it's lovely I just take one little pump and go over my eyes 
Okay, and then moisturizer. I'm actually gonna put on some tan though. So this is incredible, guys. It's the Hyaluronic Tan Serum from Rodeo. So natural, so buildable. It also makes your skin just look really healthy in the morning, I guess, because it's hyaluronic. And I also, I'm gonna take a moisturizer. Again, I'm absolutely loving this new Caudalie one. It's the Vinyl Source Hydra Grape Water Gel Moisturizer. It's super, super hydrating. So I just take about that much. And I'm gonna put that in my hand. And then I take the tan drops, put them all in. And then I just put that everywhere on my face. Wash your hands thoroughly, get right into here once you've done tan. That's my skincare routine done. It's very simple, it works so well for me. Thank God I finally found something that's helping my skin. I'll show you a natural light. All well, this is now just scarring, which is fine by me. As long as it's not a yellow pimple, I'm happy. So yeah, really, really chuffed with my skin at the minute. I'll leave everything that I use down below. And now it's the daily chore of tidying up. I'm not gonna time lapse it. I've done too many of tidying up time lapses recently. Good morning. So I'm actually just about to head, oops, <coughs> head off to the hairdressers in Windsor. It's just started raining, how horrible. Where's my umbrella? In the car. Um, but before I run off, I'll talk to you more about what I'm getting done um, when I'm there or in the car, but I thought I'd show you my outfit really quick. So I'm wearing my Zara oversized blazer. I'm wearing these River Island straight leg crease front, kind of like jogger trousers. I think they're so nice. They're the perfect length to wear with trainers. Um, underneath here is a little intimissimi uh, bodysuit is kind of see-through so I've just got my Napco bra under there as well I have this old necklace I used to wear all the time um, it's my grandma's so I just popped that on because I felt like this outfit needed a longer necklace but I didn't want gold so I just had a little look at what was in my jewellery box and I found this again which I love um, popped that on I got my Cartier necklace I have some Missima diamond hoops um, Chloe Woody tote bag and then my Chloe Lauren lace sneakers. These are the best purchase ever. I think they're probably about like one pence cost per wear. <laughs> and so I'm gonna run off now and I'll talk to you guys in a second. Okay, so I've just parked up in Windsor. I should have filmed this on the way here because I forget how dark this car park is, but I'm just about to head into the shops. I'm about half an hour early. Um, forgot to bring my Zara returns which is really annoying but anyway I'm gonna have a little mooch around Zara and then head to my appointment um in 25 minutes or so so oh, I'm getting extensions I'm getting micro bonds they're called um I have had extensions before is that fuzzy but not these ones and I literally just want them for thickness and um for when I style my hair they would stay like two days and hopefully having them means I won't have to wash my hair as often so it's kind of like a trial process to be honest. I think I'm gonna really enjoy them. We've got two packets, which is, I think it's 25 bits of hair per packet. Um, and we're gonna start off with one packet and see if we want to add more in. Because I really don't want it to look fake. Like I'm not getting it at all for length or anything other than thickness. Um, so I'm seeing Holly for my hair dye. I'm getting my hair dyed, I'm getting my treatment and my like usual process. I'll probably get a trim as well. And then, um, I'm getting my extensions put in after that, so I'm very excited. I'm kind of nervous, you know, but I'm sure I'm going to like them. I'll let you know afterwards. I am going to film a little bit in there, hopefully. Maybe just a time lapse, I'll see how busy it is. Um, but, yeah, what have I got? 20 minutes. So, I'm just going to pack up my bag. I'm really miffed that I forgot my Zara returns. That's the second time I've been to Zara now, I've forgot them. Oh, well. Um, right, let's go and do this. We've just done my colour and put my foils in so I've got to sit with this for like half an hour I guess. I don't know, I can't remember how long. And then um, once I've done this we do like the treatment, the colour the cut and then I'll go into the extension part which is very exciting. So I'll just keep filming as we go little bits and bobs and see the process. I'm looking a little bit crazy, we've just put the Bond, Bond, Bond Pro treatment in which um, like strengthens the bonds of my hair. So I always get this every single time I come for um, a colour. And then obviously we do the toner and then the cut 
and then the extension. So I'll just keep updating you, but I've got to let this sit in for like 10, 15 minutes, I think. Okay, my colour is all finished. So we just brought the blonde up a little bit. We always leave my root natural, so when it grows out, it doesn't ever look like I have bad roots. And then we trimmed it a little bit as well, and now we're going to go on to the extension part. So they are right here. So we've got the Easy Lock hair and two different colours, like, they're different colours aren't they? Slightly yes, different. Yes, so a mix of colours. Yeah. So that one's a bit darker, isn't it? Slightly, so they're both the same. You've got oh, the slightly right, okay, lighter yeah. one and your slightly darker one. Yeah. If you move it around, you'll see. It's so nice. It feels so silky. So there's two packs of 20 in each. Two packs, yep, yeah, so 40 all together. Yeah. So I think we're going to start with one and then just add in accordingly, right? See what we think. Sing on a weary line Too scared to trust you and jump down I'll keep my status quo up here Won't let anybody come near I'll fix it on my own 29 years. How many's in there? You're 17 that side at the minute Okay, we've got 17 in this side Look how perfectly they blend You literally can't even tell um, and we obviously need to cut it and stuff, but that side's done. We're going to do this side now, and then what would you say? Then we're going to do, do a row at the back, row at the and back. then see how it's looking. But already, like, it just feels and looks so much like thicker. You can see the difference between yeah. that side, can't you? Obviously, we'll cut, but it looks so good. I can't believe that blend is that. I know, it's amazing. You literally isn't it? can't tell. Exciting! <gasps> it's all been the same. Trying so hard to run from shame. Myself, I don't need grace. Mm -hmm. Will you be there to catch my fall? Need to be sure you'll hear my call. Darkness around me, and I don't know why it's so hard to let go. Why it's so hard? Done. I'm gonna do a couple more this side, okay. and then I'm gonna just space them out, just one row to the back to bulk it. Perfect. And really, this was our main area that you wanted to bulk. Yeah. So if Which I just have. space a few through the back, it yeah. will, it will just kind of blend it. Yeah. Because your the back of your hair is actually really good. So I'm going to cut it nice and blunt. And then I'm going to add a little bit of shape through the front just so it makes it look nice and natural. Perfect. So we've just spread, I can't do it with one hand. <laughs> <laughs> we've just done a spaced out row through the middle here. How many is in the back? Eight. You say eight? About seven, I think. Yeah, seven or eight. Perfect. We've just cut it. Look how nice this looks. I'm obsessed. It's like so natural. It's the perfect colour match and it hasn't we just added a little bit of length on to my hair but it's mainly just thickened it up but that in turn made it look like longer overall because we filled in this like front of it oh it's so good so we actually ended up using both of the packets and now I'm going to add a little wave into it and I'll show you it from the time <gasps> so good sorry I just missed it so wherever you move it, yeah. so you can pull it all up, and you won't be able to see them, and you haven't got any around your hairline. So we are finished. Look, it just looks so much healthier and thicker, but there really isn't like that much hair. It is 40, 40 strands, so it's crazy what a bit of extra hair can do. I love it. I'm so Hello. So I just literally um, filmed a whole section for you guys, like today's section, um, and realised the last time I probably spoke to you, let me just shimmy myself around, was in the hairdresser. So I haven't actually shown you my new hair yet, and I just carried on chatting away to you guys today, like uh, talking about my blow dry and stuff. But. I haven't actually shown you my hair, so let's chat hair. I am obsessed with my hair, honestly. Um, 
this is how it's looking still very 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 natural a little bit blonder and i have these little face framing bits which we always do but the extensions are just an absolute dream like honestly so natural so easy to work with so easy to wash and style and it means when i do things like what i've got now a little bouncy blow dry it actually stays in the um the style that i put it in so i'm just obsessed like i'm honestly in love with them did i show you i hope i haven't no i haven't talked you through them um let me try and find one okay so here is what they look like in there but if i'm like just gonna go like this that let me just like pull my hair up like you just don't see them well maybe there but they're just really really easy to disguise obviously i only have like uh 40 i think we did no no yeah 40 we did both packs i've got 40 in so mainly around the size of my head and then a few in the back but honestly like you just don't see them so i'm a convert a completely and utterly converted to extensions i'm also doing uh my hair every second day which is really nice well i'll like top it up on the second day but i don't need to wash it every day which is amazing honestly it makes life so much easier but yeah look at them you just you just can't tell i just love them so much um so yeah that's my update if you guys want any information about where i go it's sj forbes i'll put it all in the description box um holly does my color and has been doing my color for about four years now and joel did my extensions so yeah i cannot recommend visiting them enough i can't remember if i said this or not but it's a 35 minute drive from my house and i live in like fulham and hammersmith area so it's really quick to get to from London and if you if you know Windsor very well then it's literally like the middle of Windsor so super easy to get to so um yeah that's my hair now I will carry on with today's section <laughs> good morning so this vlog was actually meant to go up yesterday which was Sunday but I woke up with like the weirdest pains all down my side like where your appendix would be but other side I was on the sofa all day yesterday I woke up today and now the pains like move around to my back which is so weird um kind of feels like whenever I get my period I get really really intense back pains it feels like that but I'm, I'm not hormonal I've just come off my period so it shouldn't be like that and also it's not in the right place really I don't know anyway it's a little bit sore today but it's getting better so I thought I would just carry on the vlog today because I am actually doing something today um and then I will pop this vlog up tonight so you guys are watching it Today will be like today. So when you guys are watching this tonight, I'm, this is today. Does that make any sense? Oh God. Anyway, right, I'm just trying to get dressed. Um, I'm wearing some smart black trousers, but I'm just trying to figure out how to, how to style them up. Cause sometimes I find black trousers look so cute. Other times I feel like I'm literally wearing the outfits that I would wear to the office when I worked in an office. So I'm in that phase today. I'm like, mm, feels too officey. So I'm gonna try and style it up a little bit more. I did have already like a white shirt on. Now I've moved to this little tank top, but I'm not liking it. To be fair, it's not cold either today, so I don't actually need a jacket. But, oh, by the way, I'm going for lunch with Liv and then I'm gonna get my fitter done. Um, yeah, it's not cold, so I could get away without a jacket, but I've got a fake tan on and I don't wanna get rain on my arms because it will leak, leak, run. <laughs> Is that cute? Yeah, that's nicer. Okay, so white tee, smart trousers, Isabel Morant trainers, and then I think I'm gonna do like a gold chain. I'm missing my gold chain and then like stack up my jewelry, let's do that. This chain I always wear for Miss Summer when I wanna stack my neck. That's cute, isn't it? And then, and then I'm gonna put on the rest of my jewelry. I actually have some new earrings that I have not shown you yet and they are incredible. These earrings are from Nicole Ballardini's collection. How cool are they? Oh my god, I just love them. So I'm gonna pop them in. Look how nice they are. They're like oval hoops. And these also actually come in a size up. I think I've got a smaller size. They come in a bigger size as well, which looks so cool. So them. And then I'll put on my Cartier necklace. Just because I cannot not wear this. I'll link all this down below as well. I always get asked about my everyday jewellery, so I need to remember to start linking it. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. 
and then keep all my little jewelry my daily jewelry in this little bathtub thing cartier ring i bought this for myself when i hit half a million i think or 300k um bulgari ring i think it's called the b z zero b z b b zero i don't know um and then i stack my two cartiers this way and then this one's from Troopy, which I always pop on this finger. Um, maybe we'll put it on this one, actually. Yeah. And then this one is also from Troopy. So, so cute and dainty. And I stack that usually just above my Cartier. It's so annoying because it's literally pouring down the rain today. Well, no, it's not. It was last night and it's really wet today. I really wanted to just like go in early. Liv's got a meeting before she's meeting me. So I was like, okay, I'll just go in at the same time. Grand shops, I need to get my brace. I've got a brace I need to get sized and just kind of have a mooch, like do some Zara returns and stuff. But I just don't want to be caught out if it's like pouring down with rain and then go for lunch. It's just, I'm not in the mood for that. I hate the rain. This is my watch, by the way. It's from Cartier. It literally hasn't worked in like six months. <laughs> and I haven't had the chance to get it to a jeweler's. Um, everyday one so yeah that is it and then i'll probably i'll have to put a blazer on with this i think maybe i'll just pop it on my shoulders just don't like the blazer okay no it's fine cute and then also my hair i've been dyson air wrapping it giving myself like this bouncy blow dry. I think it looks so good now. Well, now that I have the extensions in, it actually stays bouncy, which I love. I'll do a little tutorial on this um, this week. I'll film it for you guys. So I'm going in like an hour and a half and my lips are so dry. Oh my God. They're like cracked in here. I never ever get dry lips really, like very rarely. Especially not at this time of year. Anyway, I'm leaving in like an hour and a half. I have a big white company parcel downstairs. So I thought we could open that together. Okay, so I actually did a big order in the white company sale, which I don't think is still on. But if it is, I will link it down below. And if anything's still in stock, I'll link it down below. Oh my God, okay. I've been waiting to do this with you guys. So the first thing, I did share some on Instagram actually. The first thing I picked up was lots of Christmas decorations. Johnny, look. Huh? For the Christmas tree. Why are they Christmas tree? Because they're in the sale. <laughs> they're, they're a pound each. Oh, they're two pounds each. Two pounds each. They were four pounds. So I got like six of these little gold, silver gold pairs. It's so cute. I couldn't not have them. <laughs> and actually, if you think, I mean, Christmas is only six months away. Like how have we, ah, it's not a toy. How weird is that? I was saying to someone yesterday, we have like two more months really of summer and then we go into like Halloween, bonfire night, our fifth year anniversary and Christmas. Like it's literally gonna be here in no time. So anyway, these were in the sale, um, half price. They were four pounds each, which is a bit ridiculous, but they were two pounds each. So I thought I'm gonna get them. So I have six of these, which will go down to the Christmas box. And then, I got some, okay, so you know how we have those chest of drawers in our room, which by the way, I literally hate them and I want to change them already. So I think I'll probably end up selling the side drawers and the chest of drawers on and get like a white, a light wash wood up there. I think that'll look a lot better. But anyway, for the minute, I haven't even styled them up yet. So currently we just have like an empty, no, there's stuff in them, but they're just like not dressed on the top and they just look a bit shitty. So I got some bits to put on there. So I got some of their candles. First one I got was Miss Mustique, which I don't think I've ever actually had before. Haven't been into a white company in so long. I actually haven't got a clue what any of them smell like apart from the two that I always get. So this I got because I like the shape of it. It's either gonna be for the larger for the bedroom, but this is a big candle, but a really shallow one. So I thought that would be really sweet stacked on like some books maybe, or that smells really good. Kind of smells like manly aftershave like i always think about like a man like my Maybe. dad no i was going to say my dad and johnny on holiday what did you say <laughs> you say you yeah. well you on holiday though like it's a different kind of smell when guys remember perfume on holiday 
It's really nice. So I thought either for the TV unit or for the dressing, uh, the chest of drawers upstairs. And that was in the sale as well. Then I got another candle. This one is Fig Tree. Sounds kind of bottomy though, but let's see. This is like their standard big one. So this is the shallow one and this is the big one. I think they're probably the same volume of candle, you know? Let's check. 740 grams and 770, a little bit less. This one's nice. It's very fresh. This is definitely a bedroom one for sure. That's really nice. Yum. It kind of reminds me of like end of summer, start of autumn. So it's like not fully autumn, but it's definitely not high summer. It's like kind of getting into the cozy days, you know? So I'm going to actually get some matching um, diffusers because that's gorgeous. So this one's definitely for the bedroom, I think. And then the little one for the lounge, again, in the sale. And then I got this, it's a big towel thingy. No, what is it? A, a bath, what's it called? A bath mat because it looked really nice and fluffy and it was in the sale, so I was like, me. Yeah, I'm like, oh yeah, where are they? I'll show you them in a minute. I've got some slippers in the sale as well. Um, just a big bath mat. That looks so nice, doesn't it? It's like squishy. Then, oh, then I got these little pajamas. I actually already own these in the pink version and they're so soft and cute. And they had them in the sale in the other color. So they had a gray and they had a white. The gray was sold out, I'm pretty sure. And then they had them in the white. They come in this little bag, which is so handy if you're traveling. You can take it for like your laundry and stuff. And then the, sh the pajamas are just little shorts like this. Really, really comfortable. A big elastic, elastic waistband. And they're just the softest material. They're honestly so nice. So nice to sleep in. And then this is a little tank top to match. So I got them. Pretty sure these were like 30% off. Um, just a good little summer PJ. And the final thing I got was not in the sale, but I've been obsessed with making salads recently. Well, when it was hotter. Um, so I thought I'd get like a nice big salad bowl for the house because we don't actually have one. But if we have like fans over and stuff, nice to have some nice serveware. Which is actually something I'm also on the hunt for. We need like new cutlery, new like sets and stuff. I got loads of little heart bowls from the white company, which was so cute. But I just want to start re rebuilding up her... Um, kitchen stuff because it's a bit old and tattered but i thought this was gorgeous just a big white salad bowl and it's got these kind of like rustic like indents in them if you can see like they're, they're not perfect you know so i thought that was really sweet like that's nice Thank you. this was 30 pounds actually i'll show you the heart balls i got four of these little ceramic love heart balls which they're actually called like oven oven somethings so you can put them in the oven dishwasher all that jazz so that's what I got. Um, I'll show you my slippers later on. And I'm just gonna start getting ready to head off and meet Liv in an hour or so. So I'll chat to you when I'm getting my filler done. Um, <laughs> I'm with this one. We just had some lunch uh, yeah, Hi. at the Ivy. Oh, it's that hotel. And um, now we're wandering up to Harley Street because I have a filler appointment which is fun. Um, also, it's the weirdest thing. We came, we didn't have a table booked for lunch, but every single place, not every single place, but like pretty much, pretty much every single place is shut. And I'm like, is that normal? Like, it's just a Monday lunchtime. Like, I don't, I Monday feel like- it's just spooky. Yeah, spookily quiet. Is that yeah. a word? Yeah, yeah, spookily quiet. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, babe, got it. Smashed it. <laughs> <laughs> but like everything's shut. It's just, I just don't understand. It's so weird. We went to like four or five different places probably or looked into four or five different places before we, we ended up. with my manager and she was like trying to find us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were just following around. Going to little school kids. <laughs> um, but anyway, end up in the ivy. It's always a fail safe. So yeah, just had a little duck salad and some truffle arancini. You literally cannot go in there without getting truffle arancini. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Um, so I'll probably film it when I'm in there and show you what I get done. Because I feel like I've not brought you guys along to get fed Should off. I film you? Should I be camera girl? Yeah. Can you? Camera girl? That's not what we need to do, is it? <laughs> You're my camera girl. Um, I feel like I haven't shown you guys me getting fed off for okay, literally some like a year. Might be squeamish, so trigger warning. Yeah, I'll pop it in here. But um, also, don't give me any hate, guys. <laughs> Why? I don't know what I'm getting done. Yeah, we'll, we'll Okay, we're basically going to get my bullpup topped up, definitely. I'm going to 
talk to Dr. Selena about my jaw and cheeks. What do you think? I think my jaw could do a little bit of tightening. And then that's it, I think, this time. Maybe my lips. But I don't know if it's going I don't think you should get more on your lips. I think they look quite good. I want them like... Take those up. Just probably let them stretch a little bit. Yeah. Do you think? Maybe like another month. Right when I'm concentrating and stuff, like I bite down. So hard. Yeah. So what I ended up getting done was actually not that much. I got Botox in my master muscle, so that basically slimlines your jaw. So I kind of alternate between getting actual filler in my jaw and then just doing the Botox. Um, so it's like less product obviously in your face, so it just kind of stops you from being able to like bite down. When you bite down, you'll see here. See that muscle here? It looks ridiculous right now because um, I've just had it done, but it stops you from being able to bite down harsh into that muscle and stops like that square jaw. So it ends up giving you a more like love heart jaw, which is really nice. Then I got my Botox done in my forehead. So I basically get it from like my eyes up. Um, so I get my crow's feet, I get my frown lines and just my whole forehead. Again, you won't be able to see the effects of that for maybe like three to five days. This you definitely like, you know how it's kind of swollen at the minute? You won't see that. Um, probably about a week for this one I would say before it completely settles and then I got a little bit of volume so again with my cheeks I alternate between sculpting them so like cheekbones and also the volume kind of on the front so we didn't want to make my face kind of come out anymore so we just added a little bit of volume into this front section here um, which has basically settled I'd say cheeks are really quick to settle and that was it didn't do my chin or anything um, and I'll just wait for the next time for all that. So I'm pretty sure that was it. Yeah. Um, and now I'm just having a non-alcoholic gin, which is my absolute go-to at the minute. Can you hear the dogs? <laughs> How orange my hand is. Um, it's called Seed Lip, actually, I'll show you it, hold on. It is this brand, it's so delicious. This is the Garden 108 flavor. Um, and I just make it how I do a gin. And it's just really nice, refreshing. No sugar or bad stuff, no alcohol. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just sign it off. Don't judge my face as it is now, guys, because it is obviously swollen and I've got needle pricks all over my head <laughs> and half makeup on, half makeup off, but you'll see it settled a lot more in next week's vlog. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Anything that I mentioned, just head down to the description box as per usual. And I will see you all in the next video.